When you hear this, what do you feel? At IMAX, you'll feel transported by our unique sound system and crystal clear images. Like you're running across a desert planet or defending your city from a surprise invasion. With immersive IMAX sound and screens curved to show more, we take fans to the edge of their seats. Get tickets to Dune Part 2 now and experience it in IMAX's exclusive expanded aspect ratio. Hey, y'all. <laughs> this is Just a Touch of J, and I'm coming at you. Get ready to put it all out there in pieces, baby. What's cracking with my babies, huh? What y'all out there doing? <laughs> y'all out there shining on them, huh? Because they hate it, baby. Living your best life, huh? Doing what it is that you do, that you do, that you do. Hmm. Being thorough and being wise. I know y'all out there being thorough and wise. And why do I always tell y'all that I know that you are out there being thorough and wise, huh? Number one, because God made you that way. Shout out to you, God. Man, God is just so, God is just so, mm, 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 mm. he is just so powerful. Oh, my gosh. And this is just a touch of J. Mama got to drop a dime on y'all. I got to put some stuff out there in pieces for you, right? So the second reason why I tell y'all that I know that y'all are out there being thorough and wise is that, because, you know, come on now, y'all know, y'all are out here listening to me, man, and you got to be thorough and wise if you were out here listening to me, because I'm thorough and I'm wise, right? Unless, of course, you a hater. <laughs> and what do I say to these haters, y'all? Hi, haters, because y'all need this work too right yeah and this is just a touch of J. y'all know i put it out there in pieces for you so look i really gotta drop a dime on y'all i really really do like oh my gosh like the anointing is just all over me so look let me give you a confession first i was recording my podcast and i i had tried to record it like four times and i kept getting distracted through these times oh my gosh i feel the anointing on me Okay, I kept getting distracted. I'm like, why do I keep getting distracted? I'm talking about now. Look, y'all, I recorded it and I, I, I mean, I went through the whole spill on what I thought the podcast was supposed to be about. Now, the podcast is being dedicated to your destiny, but I want a whole different way. Okay, and this is just a session. I'm trying to put this out there in pieces for you. You know, I did the whole spill with the whole shout out thing that I always do. Go over to my name is O and I seven six on Instagram. Make a love of these kitchen. Thank you to everybody that support me. I went through all of that. Okay, I even talked about how I had to be dedicated to the alarms that I had set on my phone because I was having problems with being distracted. And the whole time I'm getting all these issues with these distractions. And I'm like, this must be a good podcast. Y'all listen. It was getting cut off in the middle of it. Like, it was like something didn't want me to do this. And then I got a phone call, right? And I got this phone call, and I'm on the phone, and I'm laughing, and the person's laughing. And, you know, we setting up this whole little thing we got going on, right? And uh, the person said something. They asked me to do something. And I was like, "Um, no, I ain't going to be able to do that. And the person was like, no, nah, you know, come on. You know, could you just do that for me? I really need this to be done. And I'm like, no, nah, I ain't going to be able to do that. But my reason behind this, y'all listening, okay? This is just a touch of J, baby. Was because um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Now... I had prayed about some things, okay, (laughs) y'all? And this was taking me towards my destiny, right? And I was telling y'all about to tell y'all about this whole 2020, how you got to have vision and perspective. And when you set these goals in life, hell, when you set these goals in life, these destiny goals, how you need to make sure that you're moving towards what you're supposed to do, this destiny, this thing that you got in line, you understand what I'm saying? This thing that you say, you know what? That that goal that you go, 
at 11.59, okay, p.m., this is something that I'm trying to do that's different in 2020, right? This was one of them type things. And I almost missed it because I was thinking about how I would handle it. The old version of me. And this is just a touch of you, baby. (laughs) Whoo! I got to put these things out there in pieces for you. So listen. I know y'all out there struggling with it because God wouldn't have gave it to me like this. Let me think of, let me, let me, let me see if I can wrap this whole thing up, right? So what happened was, is that I was getting ready to talk to y'all about perspective and how you see things and moving into 2020, right? And I was going to say any goal that you set, make sure that you keep moving forward with it, okay? Don't get distracted by these things, but sometimes y'all, we can't get distracted by ourselves, by ourselves, Okay, because we might go into it looking one way, but then when we get into it, we start looking the other way, like, hold on, wait a minute, what's going on? And I almost did that. And then God laid it on me. He said, ain't that your destiny? Hmm. Ain't that what you're supposed to be dedicated to? And then I looked at my vision board and I saw the plan so look this is just a test of day. I don't know if y'all getting this or not but don't get distracted by yourself you know we pray for things sometimes right and we want our life to be a certain type of way we set these goals we do these vision boards we set it all up right for it to go this way and then when we get it Sometimes we get distracted by ourselves. I mean, I went through this whole spill about T.D. Jakes and, you know, him him going over to the refrigerator and, you know, getting this 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 uh, banana pudding because the, the banana pudding was his distraction. Yeah, that was his thing. And I talked about how I love cheese and cheese distracts me from my some of my goals, my weight loss stuff and stuff I got going on. And then I got this phone call and I'm talking on this phone call and, you know, Certain things were required of me. And um, really quick, I let myself get in the way. And this is just a touch of J, baby. It's January the 6th. And um, I'm out here because I'm talking to y'all because something's getting in the way on January the 6th. And uh, it could be messing up your destiny if you're not dedicated to that thing. So, look, I just had to put that out there in pieces for y'all because somebody needs this. Somebody right now, y'all off. You're off. You're off because you weren't dedicated to that destiny. You've fallen off already. It's the 6th of January. You got your plan in hand. This is what I'm going to do. And then life happens. Or you remember how you dealt with it before. And that's where you take it at. But when you're dedicated to the destiny, because it's 2020, <laughs> that's what I told this person. 2020, you know, we doing it like this. Wasn't he following my own stuff? So I had to take a step back and just examine this podcast. And I said, you know what? This is just in touch of J, baby. I got to put this out there in pieces for you. You got to get ahead and be dedicated, man. Don't go back when life happens. Please. I almost did that. I had to take a step back and look at that vision board. I said, oh my gosh. (laughs) God gave me exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. I got to be dedicated to this thing. Full circle. Okay? And that's what I need y'all to do. Because it's coming. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, there it go. I knew God was going to bring it to me. It's coming. The distraction. Remember I kept saying, I'm getting distracted and I'm trying to record this podcast. But it wasn't the podcast that you needed. This is what you need. 
This is just a touchy J. Y'all know I put it out there in pieces for you. You needed to know that me, myself, even I get distracted. It's January the 6th, and I had it all wrapped up in my head. If this is the way that it's going to go, and it go that way, this is part of my destiny. And as soon as that destiny thing came, oh, my gosh. Got it right here. I'm looking right at it. I almost handled that thing like how I used to. Mm-mm. And y'all are out here doing it too. Okay? So we got to get this thing together, man. I need y'all to call in. I need y'all to help me out. Like, oh my gosh, she almost fell off. God gave me something. And, I, and, and no, it's not a, it's not real bad, y'all. It's, it, it, I, I'm, I'm being real extra with it. But it's the truth. You understand what I'm saying? The truth should set you free. Okay? I basically had this, this mapped out thing. Okay? And, um, you know, God done blessed me with it. And, um, you know, you're supposed to walk by faith and not by sight and handle things all differently, you know. And I'm on here talking a good game, talking about, yeah, it's 2020. You know, look. And um, things were said, and I just was like, Mm-mm, I ain't going to be able to do that. And I said, wait a minute, hold on. That's part of my destiny. And this is just a touch of J, baby. Whoo, them distractions, they something. You know, and sometimes it's just because fear a little anxiety, you know, patterns, we're used to doing things the way that we're used to doing them, and I thank God that I had somebody that actually was like, wait a minute, come on now, and I had to, whew, I had to get that thing together and say, you know what, you're right, and I hung up the phone call, and then God brought it to me, that's part of your destiny, Right? And that's what you need to be dedicated to. So look! (laughs) That's all y'all got to do too. Y'all got these New Year resolutions and y'all got these goals and all these situations that y'all got going on in life, right? Y'all done set it all up. And y'all like, yeah, I'm I'm doing this. You know, I'm going to be committed to this. Right? But you got to remember that sometimes you can allow yourself to be the distraction. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I just check mine. I just check myself, baby. <laughs> this is just a touch of J. God said, hold on, wait a minute. Let me show you something real quick. And I just started to look at it. And I said, oh, my gosh. It's perspective. It's just the way you see it. And I can't have my babies out here lost. No, y'all. We in 2020. We not in 2019. We got to see life differently. We have to be dedicated to our destiny. And that's it. That's that podcast, man. I thank God for laying that on my heart because I didn't get it. And then it just he just turned it around like, look, I gave you everything that you wanted. That's your destiny. You need to be dedicated to that thing. No fear, no nothing. Go straight at it. And that's what y'all got to do too. Please, don't allow yourself to get in the way of that. All right? This is just a touch of J. Shout out to everybody who's out there supporting me. Showing love. All right? (laughs) And y'all just keep moving forward, man. Take this lesson. This This is a lesson for me. Y'all move forward. All right? It's 2020 vision. Don't allow yourself to be the reason why you're not dedicated to your destiny. This is just such a J, baby. I just had to put that out there in pieces for you. All right? So, look. How am I going to end this? Humble. I feel real humble right now. Because, like, it's so funny how I had my plan all mapped out. And then God shifted this whole thing around, right? And he gave me exactly what I wanted. And I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh. I was so excited. Oh, my gosh, right? And the enemy. Oh, my God, he's so slick. Chill. Look. It's just a touch day. I'm trying to put this out there in pieces for you. He, uh... Almost let me use my freaking self. And I almost got caught up in myself. (laughs) 
and uh, wasn't dedicated to my destiny by allowing myself to be the distraction. So y'all don't allow yourself to be the distraction, okay? And again, who was this? Come on, y'all. What is this? What is this? What is this? Ah, this is just a touch of J, baby. Mm. This is January the 6th. And I just had to put that out there in pieces for you, okay? So look, let me tell you all this. I, I'm, I'm just like, dang, you know? Don't let nobody tell you you ain't thorough and wise, okay? I almost wasn't being thorough and wise. And um, don't let nobody, you know, tell you that you know you ain't the ish. Because you are. You know, remember that, please, okay? Um, shine on them because they hate it, baby. And spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. This is just a touch of J. I'm looking at my vision board right now like, yo, (laughs) yeah, it's about my destiny. It's about yours too. I had to put that out there in pieces for you, baby. All right. I love (laughs) y'all. Until next time. This one was a little different. This one was, uh, this one was something else because I just want a whole different way, y'all. Like I did. And I had it all mapped out. And then God had to show me, like, wait a minute, hold on. What you doing? I gave you everything that you wanted. And you almost jacked that up. A little bit. Just a touch. All right? By not being dedicated to the destiny that I actually prayed about. That I actually dream, that I actually really want because of myself. And I can't have y'all out here lost. No, 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 baby. I can't have my babies out here lost. No. Yeah, this is just a touch of day. I had to put that out there in pieces for you. So, last words that I'm going to say to y'all about this whole thing is it's 2020, right? Keep your vision on. Your destiny. This year, you are literally going to have ups and downs and turns. You're going to have so much that's just going to try to distract you, take you off course. And you got to remain being dedicated to the destiny. And at first, I was going to tell you all about you how you had to say no. But I think this podcast is really about how you have to say yes. And don't let yourself get in the way of your destiny. Yeah. Think about that. Call in. Let me know how y'all feel about it. All right? I love (laughs) y'all. I'm just so humbled right now. standing corrected like, dang. I had to put that out there in pieces for myself. I love my babies. Until next time. Bye-bye.